Good day everyone, this is Nicole Roque reporting for the lesson regarding abbreviations. Let me define first the meaning of this word and how it works. Abbreviations are used to shorten form of a word. These are useful when you need to squeeze a lot of writing into small space. For example, the word above ceiling comprises two words. To make it shortened, we use the abbreviation AC to simplify the specific word. Another example is the word galvanized. Although it is only one word, we do not use letter G only to represent the word itself because it may confuse the reader. The appropriate abbreviation for the word galvanized is G-A-L-V. It is more way easy to understand and remember the word by simply using the first four letters of the word. Another example is the reduced pressure backflow preventer. To make it shortened, we only tend to use the initial letters of each word. So the simplest, simplest form of abbreviation for this word is RB, RPBP. This is how abbreviation works in determining certain terminologies. Plumbing symbols. Plumbing symbols are used when drawing house plans and diagrams. So the purpose of the symbols is to indicate where the different elements of your plumbing system are located. So some of these symbols are self-explanatory, but the others might be difficult to interpret. So the following are the plumbing abbreviations. AC, above ceiling. AFF, above finish floor. BT, bathtub. BWV, backwater valve. CF, combination fixture. CI, cast iron. CLDI, cement line ductile iron. CO, clean out. CP, chrome plated. CSS, clinical service sink. CTE, connect to, connect to existing. CV, control valve. CW, cold water. CWR, cold water return. CWS, cold water supply. DCVA, double check valve assembly. DF, drinking fountain. DW, dishwasher, ES, ejector sump, EWC, electrical water cooler, FCO, floor clean out, FD, floor drain, FEC, fire extinguisher cabinet, FHV, fire hose valve, FP, fire protection, FPWH, freeze proof wall hydrant, FS, flow switch, FV, flush valve, GALV galvanized, GCO ground clean out, GI grease interceptor, GPF gallons per flush, and HB host bib. Hello everyone, I'm Zenit Desus and I'll be discussing plumbing symbols. Plumbing symbols are used when drawing house plans and diagrams. The purpose of these symbols is to indicate where the different elements of your plumbing system are located. As you can see here, there are different variations of lines. The first one, leader, soil or waste, above grade, below grade, vent, cold water, hot water, hot water return, drinking water, drinking water return, acid waste, compressed air, fire line, gas line, tile pipe and vacuum in the next one these are the symbols of pipes and other sinks 90 degree elbow straight t reducing t sanitary t f trap gate valve shower head lavatory or sinks bath tubs and shower stall in the next one these are also pipes but they are illustrated in lines drain pipe vent pipe Sweep elbow, 90 degree elbow, 45 degree elbow, combination or waist T, 45 Y, and vent T. In, so in conclusion, these are the symbols that we can easily verify to our plumbing blueprint. So we can easily identify what work are we gonna do in that area. Thank you. Good day. I am Carita Angela Conanan. I will be the next one to discuss plumbing tools and symbols. Check valve. 
Check valves are one-way or non-return valves that open with fluid movement and pressure. And close to prevent backflows of pressure to upstream equipment such as pumps and compressors. Check valves are normally in the closed position and open with the fluid flows through it. So here's are the check valve symbol. Straight, angled, and the check valve illustration. Gate valve plan. Gate valve plan is generally used to completely shut off fluid flow or in the fully open position provide full flow in a pipeline. Thus, it is used either in a fully closed or fully open position. Um, so here's are the symbols of gate bulb plan. Straight, angled, and the gate bulb plan illustration. Gate bulb plan elevation. Gate bulbs should not be installed with their stem below the horizon line. If they are, complete drainage is not possible and solids will accumulate the bonnet that can affect the operation and service life of the bulb, increasing the possibility of packing damage. So here's the symbol of gate bulb plan elevation. Straight, angle and angled illustration of gate valve plan elevation. Globe valve plan. Globe valves, so-called because of their outside shape, are widely used in plant piping. They are suitable for manual and automatic operation. So here's are the symbols, straight and angled. And the illustration of Globe bulb plan. Globe bulb plan elevation. Unlike the gate bulb, globe, globe bulb can be used for regulating flows or pressure as well as complete shut off flow. It may also be used sometimes as a pressure relief bulb or as a check bulb. Here's the symbol straight and angled and angled illustration of low bulb plan elevation. Float bulb. The float bulb is a simple mechanical liquid level controller. Float detects changes of elevation in the liquid free surface and opens or closes a bulb accordingly. A float bulb maintains the level in the cold water header tank which regulates the pressure of the hot water system. Here's the symbol, straight, and the illustration of float bulb. Hose bulb. A hose bulb, also called a hose beam, controls the flow of water from a pipe out to the bulb and usually into a garden hose. Turning the handle of the hose bulb allows the water to flow out from the bulb or shut it off to prevent any more water from running out. Here's the symbol, straight and angle, and the illustration of post bulb. Pet cock. A uh, pet cock is a small shot of bulb used to control the flow of liquid or gas. It's a small cock you set or bulb set in a water pipe, pump, Drain outlet, end of a cylinder, in a radiator or water jacket, and used to drain water, steam, or air. So here's the symbol, straight in the illustration of pet cup. Um, a tri cup. Tri cup is a one of two or more cups arranged one above the other to ascertain the water level in a steam boiler. It is a cup for withdrawing a small quantity of liquid as for testing. So here's the symbol, straight, and for the illustration.
common piping symbols. Common piping symbols. A well-installed connection is considered a cause for good health because it is responsible for water cleanliness. For this purpose, a professional plumbing drawing is made and all the functions are illustrated by a plumbing symbols. These symbols cover all sorts of plumbing tools and equipment. The plumbing symbols enable a designer to follow a definite step-by-step -step plan, preventing him from getting distracted in many unnecessary matters and steps. The plumbing connection requires timely maintenance. A map helps a plumber maintain a connection by locating equipment through plumbing symbols mentioned on a design. Pipe fittings. Pipe fittings are available in plumbing systems for different purposes and functions. Pipe fittings is used in plumbing system to join multiple pipes of same size or different sizes to regulate the flow or to measure the flow. They are made up of different materials like copper, iron, brass, PVC, etc. Pipe fittings types of connections Screwed ends Planged Bell and spy gut ends Welded and braced ends Soldered ends Elbows Elbows are used to change the direction of flow between two pipes. Elbows are generally available with an angle of 22.5 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. If pipes are of same diameter, then normal elbows are used. Otherwise, reducer elbows are used. Elbows are made of different materials. These are generally coming with female threads and we can fix them by butt or socket welding also. So, here's the types of elbow. 90 degrees, 45 degrees, um, other than 90 degrees or 45 degrees, spacit angle, um, long radius, and reducing. Side outlet, out or outlet down side outlet or uh, outlet up turned down turned up and union is T type fitting is a component of plumbing system which is in T shape it is having one inlet and two outlets Outlets are arranged at 90 degrees to maintain line connection. It can, it can also be used to combine the flow from two inlets to one outlet. They are also available in different materials and different sizes. If the three sides of the fitting are similar in size, then it is called as equality. Otherwise, it is called as unequality. So, here are the types of T's. First, T. Second, double sweep. Third, outlet down and outlet up. And... Elbow single, single step or plain T. Cup. Cup contain female threads which is screws on the male thread of pipe. Coupling. A coupling is used to connect the pipes of same diameter. Coupling are also useful if the pipe is broken or leakage occurs. Plug. 
plug is a component of plumbing component which is generally used to close pipe opening during inspections and repairs. Plug are generally contains male threads. Um, reducer. Reducer is a pipe fitting component which reduce the flow size from larger to smaller by reducing size of pipe. Unions. Unions consist not male and female ended threads. So this is also useful for maintaining purpose of pipe. Here's are the other pipe fittings. First is bushing, second plug, third union screwed, fourth cup, third um, fifth reducer concentric, expansion joint bellows, coupling, union plunge, and expansion joint sliding. Hubs are components of plum plumbing system which are used to stop or regulate flow of fluids in its path. Different types of bulbs are available depending up on their applications. So here's are the type of connections. First, screwed ends, plunge ends, bell and spigot ends, welded and braced ends, soldered ends, stop bulbs. The stop bulbs or SBA are used to shut off flow of hot or cold water in plumbing fixtures. Fixtures. So the first symbol is general symbol. Second, angle. Third, gate. Fourth, gate angle. Fifth, globe. And sixth is close air operated spring closing. Close deck operated. Globe hydraulically operated. Stopcock, plug or cylinder bulb or three-way. Stop pop, plug or cylinder bulb, three way or two port. Stop cup plug cylinder bulb, three way or three port. Stop cup plug or cylinder bulb, four way, four port. So, what is relief bulb? A relief bulb or pressure relief bulb or PRB is a type of safety bulb used to control or limit the pressure in a system. Pressure might otherwise build up and create a process upset, instrument or equipment failure or fire. So what is regulating bulb? Regulating bulbs are used for adjusting or monitoring flow volumes and flow directions, especially designed for use in a broad range of metering, blending, weighing, and filling system applications. They are the ideal solution for precision control of flow rates or pressure. What is safety bulb? A safety bulb can be considered as a pressure reducing or pressure removing device. When there is any excessive internal fluid pressure, then this bulb would be open so that the damage in the system can be prevented. These bulbs are commonly used in gas and steam lines. So here's are the symbol of relief, regulating, and safety bulbs. First, the general symbol, angle relief, back pressure, globe relief, and globe relief adjustable or spring-loaded reducing. Pressure reducing or pressure regulating increase actuating pressure closes bulb. Pressure reducing or pressure regulating increase actuating pressure opens bulb. Pressure regulating weight loaded. Safety boiler.
Here are the check box symbol. First, general symbol. Second, check lift. Third, check swing. And globe stop check. Thank you and have a great day.